the way you play that cajon, you treat it like a drum set. Yeah. And uh, so I'll play a couple basic beats. Yeah. And you can demonstrate on the cajon how you would uh, cross gender that sure. from, a, from a drum set onto a cajon. Yeah, and Shall if we? I can't do it, then maybe you can help me and we can build it together. Okay, sure. It's but I'll just do <laughs> Okay, collaboration. But I'll, I'll do a couple grooves and then, okay. and then we'll jam. How's okay, that? Awesome. So, I love so it. I want to just do like a, a straight eighth rock groove. Okay. Okay, and yeah. uh, I want to see how you'd play it. So it. I'll play a couple bars and then you show us. You right? got it. Here we go. Okay. okay, how would you do that on a cone? So I would take a brush in my left hand. And actually, this technique that I, I use is to do traditional grip okay. on my left hand, okay. but also then do a traditional <laughs> grip on my right hand. Reason being. So, like a double. Yeah, I All think right. for the wrists, okay, I, get, yeah. I get more flow that way. Sure, sure. Because if you're holding in a match grip here in your right hand, I feel like there's too much strain. Yeah, that looks right? like or your tennis elbow right. deluxe right there. And I don't even yeah. play, I don't even know what tennis is. So, yeah, me neither. If you do this, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not flipping anybody off, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I can get, anyway. Okay. So more straight. flexibility there. So I'll keep a brush here, or maybe I'd use a wire brush to get a more hi hatty sound. Okay. Here, and I'll play the eighth note on the hi hat here, and then here's the snare drum, and then the I'm sorry, bass drum. Okay. That's a bass drum, and and then I'll come up for a snare drum hit here. So. Yeah. And then what I can also do is add an eighth note on my left foot, which is like a hi hat too, right? With the jingle my bells. jangles. Yeah. The tambourine. Tambo, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Sound like so that. So let I'll add to that. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Well, same thing, and I'm gonna do a fill, and I'm Ooh. gonna see how you would do okay. a fill on that. Okay. Here we go. Three, four. Okay. okay. Let's hear that. So I have a signature move that I think I invented All right. okay. <laughs> called the cricket. Okay. The cricket. The cricket. Okay, Whereas, show us the cricket. Let me show you the cricket. Okay. So I wanted to create sort of like tom sounds on the cajon, right? Okay. Because it's, you know, very bass and snare. Okay. Right? So even I could do that, I could keep the hi hat here and do an eighth note, okay. right? Oh, sorry. So here it is. Push my heel into the cajon and get a, a tom sound. Uh, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. That is too freaking cool. D more, more of the cricket. More cricket, right? That's the cricket awesome. is very attractive. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Does it ruin your shoes? Oh, uh, you know, you get a little scuff on, but it's cool, I right. think. Okay, so yeah. Hey, how did you scuff your shoe? Uh, I play the cricket. I play the cricket, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so, so demonstrate some yeah. more cricket for Well, us. so all you're doing is then bending the, the wood, you know, to get a different tone. Okay. So, so wow. low tom, high, you know, right. high tom, low tom, whatever, you know. So it's super fun that way because... What I'm trying to do with this minimal setup is get as many tones as possible. Wow. You know. Yeah, it's fun that way. That is incredible. I did not play the fill that you played. No, that's I, okay. I wanted to that show you. Better. That fill was better, actually. That fill so. was amazing. <laughs> so let's jam. You want to jam? Yeah, come on, let's jam. Oh my god, this is a dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 